Okay, so for now we'll be doing skin for. Stand by. No camera. Human actor, actress, they can have a lot of emotion. The dog actor is totally different from humans. We only can do something to get the expression. Yes, that's a good boy. He's a police security dog. His eye will stare at you. You do not come near. Whoa! Ah! The dog throwing the full mess at you is, is a scary experience. Oh, good. I believe they will sacrifice their life to protect you. Everybody thinks that we are training the dogs, but it's actually the dog teaching us. In k we have about 200 over dogs. We have four different working categories. The police patrol dog, security dog, explosive detector dog, narcotic detector dog, you. In the beginning, I thought that they are very easily to be handled and taken care of. But when we step into the working dog life, they are not a simple animal, just throw a ball and then play. Actually, they have their own thinking. You need to know how to read them and understand their feeling and then respond according to what you want them to do. Finn. Nice. Easy. All right, good. Finn, he's a police security dog. His previous handler uh, had moved on to another post and I was being assigned to this dog to be prepared for the next handler taking over him. Easy. Initially, there is rumours that this dog is fierce, is aggressive, that he has the tendency to bite. When people move closer to him, his eye will stare at you, give you a kind of warning sign that you do not come near. I don't feel your presence as uh, comfortable. These dogs are all trained to perform bite work and the aggression is totally different from the smaller breed of narcotic protector dog. I just feel that he needs to more time. That's so why I will take him out to play in the field to cut down his aggression drive. Oh, good. All these obstacles cost is actually similar to our living environment. There is jumping through under crawl, high wall, low wall. Initially, he barely can do any of the obstacles. This is the first time he do the airframe today. He's able to clear the obstacle without my help anymore. Good dog. Here. Sit. Stay. 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 He made a few mistakes during the obedience training. Good. Act. You. He is attempting to cheat, thinking that by coming to me, that he's able to uh, get the reward, which usually what I will do as an ending of my training. Good dog. Basically, what is going to happen over here is, at all times, the dog will be at our left side. Left hand is the commanding hand. For example, heel, tap, and move off. Understand? Obedient training in police canine unit is to ensure that we have full control over the dogs. Handlers, to the right, right turn. Heel. To be a canine handler, first of all, you need to become a full-time police officer. Every recruit that comes to the police canine unit will be assigned a police dog. I'm going to teach you all how to perform the correct hand sign and the correct command for the distance control. Okay, stand straight. This is down command. Stand command. Sit command. Stay command. Four command. So far, so clear? Okay, recall. Simple. Stand straight. Right hand, touch your buckle. Come. Okay, try. Recall. In order to train a green dog to a uh, full operation, we need a 12 weeks intensive training. Hey. Those dogs that are assigned to the National Service guys are all trained dogs. Hey. They have already go through a five-week training before. So basically, the dog already know what is the hand sign. The purpose of this training is just to train the handler to be ready to be deployed at the end of five weeks. Come. Use your vocal praise to motivate the dog to want to come forward. Come. Sit. At the start, remembering the commands still can, but very difficult to command the dog up. So you have to play the dog, 
rub the dog sometimes. And then another part of bonding can be done during grooming of the dog. I can say it's the best part of the training. My dog's name is Tyson, and because he's a young age, he's a bit playful sometimes. When you march across the field, where you do only just normal march or double quick march, he, get, he gets very bored. Then he will just look around, sniff the grass, then don't pay attention to you, then you lose control of him. You need to be firm so that he actually follows and listens to you. Slow down your tempo. Every time we do a new lesson, we actually add extra step. Each session is actually very short, so I have to absorb as much as possible. Easy, boy. And so now this is the first week of the training. I don't think he's capable to handle Tyson. Jin Jae did pretty well okay, during the heel work. Heel. But he is following the dog. In dog training, usually it's the handler, it's the leader. Dog should follow you. Dogs aren't the stereotypes that people make them out to be. Some people would think that, oh, it's a big dog, all big dogs will bite. But dogs are very much like humans. Some can be aggressive, some can be gentle, some can be timid. When you work with dogs, you learn their personalities and you learn how to read their body language. That's where you break this stereotype around dogs. When I received the script, they told me that snipers have to be aggressive to the human. He's quite friendly. La. So I need to find a trigger point in order to make him aggressive. Some people keep dog as a companion. For me, I am more to companion and also competition. In working dog, most people will think, oh, it's like Border Collie, Shetland Sheepdog, German Shepherd. They have different talents. Border Collie, obviously, is their classified and more working. And like Shetland Sheepdog is more the working part. German Shepherd mostly are like protection dog. I have two Border Collie. Man, yeah. a longer coat, brown white. And Sniper is a smooth coat, brown white. Yes, that's a good boy. A new sniper is very, very focused. He stare. The border collie stare. He look a bit fierce, la. but actually he's quite gentle. Once I adopted a sniper, I start to train in agility. And from there, we start to take part in competition. Yes, that's a good boy. For agility dog, the peak is around five to six. Sniper is a typical working type of border collie. So if you stop them from working, it might cause more harm to the dog because they might become moody or destructive. Sniper now is about seven years old. So I started to train him to have second career like dog modeling or dog actor. This is his first project is from Tamasic Body, which is called Goodbye Buddy. Is about an owner that wants to give up the dog and ask the vet to put to sleep. I think the most challenging part is that sniper have to be aggressive to the human. I'm ready. Oh, ready. Oh. He's quite friendly la, for humans. So I need to find a trigger point in order to stay. make him aggressive. Stay. stay. Good. Stay. Goodbye. Yes. Yeah, Most of the client they have their own breed that they want at the start. But sometimes because of the role that they want for the dogs, it might not be very suitable. Most people like smaller dogs. We don't really see a lot of bigger dogs in poster or wherever. If I'm a client, I'd rather choose something like fluffy, small, cute. I want to see what he can do first, then after that, from there, I can try to cheat the shots for the blocking. Okay. I wanted a golden retriever because they had like the most yeah. pitiful look. Ready? ready. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Good boy. Then we found Sniper and coincidentally he was also afraid of thunder, which was one of the personality traits of our main dog actor buddy. So I thought let's just try with Sniper first, see how it goes. Take. Take If we talk about dog talents, most important is they should not be too aggressive, too shy or fearful. They must be very steady. Yeah, mentally and obviously physically they must fix. 
For acting, you need obedience plus the dog must be able to do distance control. Because the owner might be away and you need to give instruction to the dogs. Okay, bye. Okay, so for now, we'll be doing scene four. The one where you try to put Buddy down, but he gets aggressive. Okay, that one. Oh, yeah. Come here. Come here. Yes, good boy. Yeah. I need to get a trigger for him to become aggressive. So I bring another dog there, which he doesn't like it. I need somebody to hold sniper because we don't want to do dog to get involved in a fight. <laughs> There's a lot of misconception about working dogs. Some people might feel that they are dogs they should keep as like companion. They should not be working. They love to work because they want to please the owner and then they get the reward. If you don't give them a job, they will create their own job, which is mess up your whole house. You need to outsmart them. If I see that during the acting, sometimes like the dog is getting tired or too stressed, you have to stop. But I still say, no, go, 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 go. Then you're abusing the dog. Dog coming. I was a security dog handler for two years, but I was quite nervous around dogs. A Labrador was seen as a very, very big dog. So definitely it was quite um, daunting to enter the kennel and to interact with the dog and to bring the dog out for a walk. But right now, for me, a Labrador is actually a small dog. My first dog was a German Shepherd. He's very quiet He's and very watchful. Cooley helped me overcome the death of a family member uh, a couple of years back by just being there for me. There was an like unspoken connection. He passed away from terminal cancer and it was quite heartbreaking. He was my mentor, my stepping stone to become a better dog handler and a better person. Right now, I'm an explosive detector dog handler. I've been in this category for about two years now. My current dog, Dixie, she just turned two years old. And she's a very playful girl, but she's always very ready and eager to work. My daily routine starts out as bring her out for her morning exercise. Then I'll wash the kennel and feed her her breakfast. And after that, we'll be deployed out for patrol. Dixie and I patrol transportation notes with transcom officers. During our patrol, we keep a lookout for suspicious persons or articles. And when we do encounter them, we would go in and further investigate it to sniff out the explosive substances. During our first patrol, she never heard the doors of the MRT opening before. So that spooked her of a step in the train. While it was quite daunting for her, now she's always looking forward to entering the train. Surya, when you walk, grant, emphasize command, stay, stay, stay. Don't be stingy with your command. It's free of charge, FOC. The dog already paid the buffet money already. The buffet is here. The buffet later, you are the you are the main course. That is appetizer. Currently, I'm training this new part of NSF guys. They are undergoing five week security dog with me. We are conducting bike work exercise with the chase and apprehension. The purpose of this exercise is to equip the handler with the ability to utilize the police dog to chase and apprehend any subject who have committed any seizable offense. We have to make sure we command the dog properly, search the personnel, search the subject, and then come back again. Leash management, make sure the leash is secured. I must always be firm with Tyson, make sure I have the control there with him. Rouse, move forward one step. You need to move forward one step to encourage the bike. Definitely, today's section will be much more high risk. Oh, it's scary, though. Go! <laughs> Previously, we are doing all on leash, which we have full control over the dog. As for today's section, the dog is chased and biked with an off leash method. Straighten your back, master. Take the impact. 
At the beginning, I was scared, lah, so I slowly worked my way to the biggest dog. Look at your dog, don't look at me! Ah. Ah. The worst case scenario during the off leash bite is the decoy, which is the training with the sleeve, will get unintentional bite from the dog. Ah. <laughs> to avoid the situation, all the safety measures will be brief. When the dog came charging to me, my heart missed a bit. Dog throwing the full mess at you is, is a scary experience. Come on. Okay, faster. Move back, starting point. Down with the dog. Three. Three. Back. Six point. I was a bit anxious, a bit rushing, so I did miss one step where I never command the person to spread his leg wide apart and put his hands up before you approach for the search. Three. Today is last day of training. JJ has shown me that he's ready for tomorrow assessment, although there is still a few areas that need to polish up to make sure that he's able to overcome the mistake for tomorrow assessment. And a bit stressed. Uh. My biggest worry might be the bike work part. I don't know whether he will actually engaged on the subject or not. Search again. Search, 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 search. search. Hi! Easy, JJ, watch your dog. Remember, don't be complacent, JJ. Today is our day of our assessment, and I'm a bit stressed. Uh. I don't know what to expect. Uh. My biggest worry might be the bike work part. I don't know whether he'll actually engaged on the subject or not. Yeah, boy. Easy, boy. Sit. Good boy. Down. Stay. OK, JJ, ready? All yours. Sit. You. Come on, boy. Yeah, boy. Hey. No. Easy, boy. Go, no. Tyson. Stay. Down. Down. Stay. The distance control. Try to cut down on your extra command. If you ask him to do down, he didn't move at all, he don't break away from the position. Then go for the next command, probably a sit. One command, one action. Hey JJ, this will be your bike test. What? Is the police? Dog running? Or oh, release my dog? Rouse! Good boy! Leave! Come on! Now! And the big one apart! JJ! Search again. Search, 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 search. Mike! Easy, JJ, watch your dog. Remember, time. don't be complacent, J. Okay, Surya, thank you. You can go out of the field first. All right, so be mindful of your surrounding, be mindful of your dog, be mindful of the subject. Okay, command and control is there. Just need you to be more focused and composed. Don't rush through the whole sequence. All right, so congratulations. You passed your assessment. Thank you, sir. Okay, but I want you to maintain his performance. Doesn't mean that you pass this course, you can, you know, relax, carry on the maintenance training with him. Yes, sir. Thank you. When I first came into contact with Jin Jie, he gave me an impression he's very shy, not very proactive, but he's a fast learner. He applied the method to the dog training wisely. In the beginning, when we talk about bike work, he is very scared. He don't know what to do. But he is able to show me he is capable and is confident enough to handle Tyson. So, JJ, how are you feeling now? Uh, relief. Uh, finally, it's over. For obedience, I think, he started sniffing the grass for some reason. What? Bike work, I think he did very well. So after this, after the assessment, by the end of the week, I'll be posted to Changi Base. Tyson will be my dog. It's a new environment, so there's lots of things to learn. I'm excited.
Finn temperament now has changed from aggressive to more socialized. Even to the extent that he actually licking some of their hand. It gives me more assurance that he is safe to be handed over to another police officer in future deployment or training. Huh? Finn? You. Good. Let's go. All right, good boy. Having to change dogs can be difficult. They've gone through rain or shine, your ups and downs. So it's not easy to just go to a new partner. But then again, it's a bittersweet moment because you are going to another handler who is new and needs an experienced dog to show them the ropes of how to be a police dog handler. Get on. Hey, here. Dixie is still learning the ropes. She's also a bit more timid. Come, come. Easy. It's okay. It's okay. Every day is different, so there are times that you don't perform as well. You just have to pick yourself up and learn from your mistakes and improve. Good girl! Hi. You can give him one first. <laughs> Somebody call it like sniper. He doesn't know when to take a break. If he like it, he will just do running and running. Sometimes some of the requirement is like quite difficult for the dog to perform. Human actor, actress, they can have a lot of emotion. But we only can do something to get the expression. Yeah, good boy. We don't really have an extra rehearsal, but I will feedback to them whether sniper able to do it or do we need to adjust to it. Yeah, summer, summer, summer. No, give me. Give me a ball. Give me a ball. Come, come. I'm happy that so far the client listened to our advice. Yeah. That's a good boy. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, they give quite positive feedback on Sniper and they love Sniper. Yeah, good boy. Look at it, look at it. Yeah. Yes, that's a good boy. Good dog, yes. That's a good boy. Dogs are very much like people. They're not machines. You need to be patient with them to have a positive energy when dealing with them and to treat them with kindness. No dog is the same. All dogs have their own character and personality. I always feel proud if I'm able to train new handlers and new dogs to serve the nation. I prefer to work with dogs compared to humans. <laughs> yes, me, yes, no, me, yo. You are good people, they will think that you are good. They will say that you are bad. I can't imagine life without dogs. <laughs> <laughs>